ระปิตาอัมิลเลตสอบลงพอกเซมพาร์ทวันทูไฟวันสิกส์ทูทูไฟวันไอท์บีอีเดอะอัมิลเลตสอบฟายเกรดเกจีอาจารย์ของฟายพรอวินซ์เอสบิ๊กนิ่งเวทลงพอกเซมเคมาโกลงปูหมุนวัดปัญจานหลวงผู้สีจันทสิริพระอรหันเจเป็นนินออกวัดเขาทำบุญนาคอินนครสวรรค์ and หลวงปู่ทิมอิสริโกออกพระครูภาวนาพิรัต the inventor of the พระคุณแผนผงไพรกุมารออกวัดลหานรา and lastly พ่อทันคลิงจันทสิริออกวัดถลุงทองอินนครศรีธรรมราช We now continue with the amulets of ลุงพ่อกเกษม beginning with the พระปิตาเนื้อผง of 2516 BE This is the พระปิตาพิมพ์ใบโพเนื้อผงพิมพ์ใหญ่ released in 2516 BE by ลุงพ่อกเกษม Only about 3,000 amulets were made And there are three major points of reference: is that the belly button is very rounded, with a very obvious line around it, uh, and that the uh, bubbles on the head are quite clear, and that on the rear face is, of course. A uh, series code number, and the Yan Ong Pra, with the Kata Arahang Maau, and uh, some numerical um, inscriptions on the top, made in Nua Pong. And this is the Pra Pong Pitta Kanen Lang Yan with the Antra on rear face. And gold leaf, which was Gamagan, also released in 2516 BE. This particular one is covered in gold leaf, and extremely rare. All of which are rare, um, and were made in a small number of only 300 amulets made. Here is the yantra on the rear face. And here we have the p r a p o n g p i t a p i m k a n e n small p i m s o n g n a two-sided, so with a, a Buddha face on both sides of the amulet. Also released in 2516 BE, extremely rare, as you can see in n e w a n g e n a m a n with a lot of oil, oily herbal powders, and only 300 of these amulets were also made. In this model, extremely rare and difficult to encounter, if at all. Here we see the other side, and here we have the p a p o n g Pitta k a n a n small p i m Kanganok. Kanganok meaning flamed, decorative edges on the front face, as you can see. Langyan with the yan dot. On the back face and the four k o m a k a r a letters, Nama Pata, which invokes the four elements, in n e r p o n g also k e n a m a n slightly oily in its substance because of the amount of pollens within the sacred powders. And this pim was also released in extremely small numbers, namely also only 300 amulets released. Making this also yet another extremely rare p r a p i t a of the great l u n g p o g a s e m Kemago of Sutsam p r a t r a i l a k i l a m p a n All of these models released in 2516 BE. And now we turn to the p r a p i t a Mahaut p e n r u p l o or Loi Ong statuette made from alchemical metal alloys, released in two. 518 BE, and was released in three different metals officially: Nur Navaloha, 2518, 
made, which is what we're looking at. And in Nung and uh, solid silver, of which 500 were made. And this, as we can see, is a different color. And uh, is also Nabaloha, which shows how looking in books, the first picture was from a book, was from a well-worn one, which was blackened. And the other one was not worn, was kept in original condition and was still reddish in color. And so if it looks blackened in the book and it doesn't in your hand, does not mean it is not authentic. It just means that Navaloha uh, changes and blackens with age. And uh, in Nungan, as I was saying, uh, solid silver, only 500 were made. And then there were also made in Nertongham in uh, solid gold, which were only made uh, according to how many people ordered them, which means an unknown number were made unknown numbers and was um, released in the year 2518 BE and according to officially current documentation was only released in three materials Navaloha, nine sacred metals, Nungan, solid silver and Nertongkam, solid gold. And here we have the Prapita Sarapati also released in 2518 BE, which was released in three different metals, according to documentation, namely Navaloha, 5,000 amulets made, Nungan, solid silver, 500 amulets made, and once again Nertongkam, solid gold, only made according to how many were ordered. So once again, an unknown number of amulets made in solid gold. And then we have the Prapita Mahalab, also of 2518 BE, which was released in Nuanavaloha. Nuangan, sacred silver. And Nuatongkam, solid gold. In Navaloha, 1,999 amulets were made. In Nungan silver, 227 were made. And in Nertongkam, just as many were made as were ordered. So once again, an unknown number of amulets made in solid gold. It's interesting to note that this edition has Chedistupa code stamp on the base of the amulet, which you can see coming into the screen from above right now and this is stamped into the bottom of the amulets of this particular model and here we have the Prapita Maha Chok of 2518 BE which was made in three different materials Nunavaloha made in 2,518 amulets made. And as I mentioned earlier, showing two versions of Navaloha Loyong statuettes in this video, you can see how the reddish appearance of Navaloha slowly goes dark, which is called Glapdam. In Thai. Nungan silver, 500 amulets made. And you can see on the base of the amulet the cord no stamped into the metallic surface. And Nertongkam, only nine amulets made. So not to order in this particular series. And what is notable about this series is that on the base of the amulet there will be the code no, the no rat code, which is the same code stamp which was used for the Rup La Loi Ong statuette of Lung Po Gasem, which was called Rup La Gon no, because the Gon means the base or the bum of the amulet had this code stamp on it as well. 
and there is also a second code stamp hidden within the yantra of the rear face of this particular series. And here lastly for this first part of the Prapita Lumpoga Seim series, which should be two parts, is the Prapita Gonsing of 2518BE, which is unknown how many were made or how many different materials were made, but I have found in Navaloha and in Nungan in silver, which you can see here. And uh, they have uh, the same ceremony blessing as the Ruplo Gonnu image of Lumpogasem, which had the Gonnu. But this particular pitta is called the Gonsing because uh, in the base there is a Lugnamo a magic spell slug inserted with a single lion him upon lion embedded onto it or engraved, embossed onto it in the form of a singer. So it's called Gonsing, meaning singer on the base. The Papita Gonsing 2518 BE. And that ends part one of the series of Papita of Lumpoga Same in my continuing series of the amulets of Lumpoga Same as the first chapter of the much longer series of the amulets of five great masters of five provinces, namely Lumpogasem, Lumpumun, Lumpusi, Jantasiri, Lumputim, Isarigo, and of course, last but not least, Potankling of Wattalungtong all of which whose amulets will be documented as much as I can within my ability. For now, this is the end of the chapter of Amulets of Lumpoga Seim, Prapita, Part 1, 2516 to 2518BE. And as a last little bonbon of knowledge, seeing as we ended with the Prapita Gonsing, 2518BE, of Lungpoga Seim. Uh, the root law mentioned, blessed in the same edition as the Prapita Gonsing of 2518 BE.